Welcome to MathCast Edition 4, where we will be using the area model to illustrate the distributive property, this time with a monomial and a binomial. Quick refresher, monomials are one terms, binomial have two terms, trinomial have three terms, and again, the key is separated by addition and subtraction. If you need to review this, please pause now and read over. Review on algae tiles. Blue will represent positive tiles. Red will represent negative tiles. Sizes of the same shape have the same name. So large blue tiles here are x squared. Large red tiles are negative x squared. The key rule to remember with algae tiles is that side lengths of this, that are the same length are the only ones that can touch. So if you look at this example, notice how the x and the x squared have this side length in common. Therefore, they can contact each other. The 1 does not have a side length that's similar to the x squared, so it cannot touch it straight away. Unlike this one here, where I've put several algae tiles that are one unit in length against the x squared, this would be incorrect here. So we want to avoid this situation. So let's begin. I want to multiply 2x onto the binomial x plus 3. Again, thinking this is as a length times width problem, these are dimensions of a rectangle. You can see I have my length and my width out here. So if I fill those in, 2x looks like this. Two blue x's and x plus 3. One x and three singles. Multiplying x times x will give me an x squared term. Repeating that multiplication gives me another x squared term x times 1 gives me 1x, and then I repeat that calculation of x times 1 for each of the remaining spaces, and I fill this in. Now when I count this up, I should see that I have 2x squared terms here and here, and 6 positive x terms. So when I multiply these two together, this is my result. And again, if we look at the shortcut that was illustrated in the previous math cast, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3, positive 6x. That shortcut still seems to hold. Carrying on, in this example, I'd like to multiply negative x times x minus 3. Again, remembering these are lengths and widths, just dimensions of a rectangle. So negative x will be represented by a red tile. x minus 3, there's my positive x and my three negative ones. Multiplying negative x times positive x is negative x squared. Negative x times negative 1 is positive x. And again, I repeat that three times for all the different spaces and fill it in. Counting that up, I have a negative x squared plus 3 positive x's, so there's my result. If I check the shortcut, negative x times x, negative x squared, negative x times negative 3, two negatives make positive, and what do you know, it still works. My last example, a little bit larger, I'm going to multiply 2x times 3x minus 2, so I'll represent 2x with two blue algae tiles on the side here. 3x minus 2, a little more involved. There's the 3x's, there's the negative 2 there. x times x, positive x squared. Now you can see I'm going to repeat that same calculation five more times, so I'll just bring all of those tiles in at once. And lastly, x times negative 1, would be negative x, and again, I repeat that calculation several times. So the dimensions on the outside multiply together to get the area on the inside. So the final result here, 6x squared minus 4x, and if you count them up, that's exactly what we have. And we check the shortcut. 2x times 3x is 6x squared, and 2x times negative 2, negative 4x this point in time if you could stop the video or pause the video and try this question for yourself and then I'll post the solution. 
So here we go. We have an x plus 2 on the side, negative 4x along the top, multiplying x by negative x. I get x squared, and I have to repeat that calculation four times. 1 times negative x is negative x. So again, repeating the same cal calculation several times. And when I look at the solution, I come up with negative 4x squared. So there are four of those red tiles, minus 8x. There's eight of the red tiles here. Checking the shortcut, negative 4x times x is negative 4x squared, and negative 4x times positive 2, negative 8x. Thank you for your time. Again, if you have any suggestions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thanks again.